In the summer, there's been a, a new season that's sort of developed here along the Nature Coast. Tell me about that. Oh, of course, scalloping. Uh, we have people from all over that come to our town, and we host them here at our local resorts to go out and get the scallops. Um, it's been described as the underwater Easter egg hunt. And one good thing about our scallops, are pro they're protected. They can't be bought or sold. The only way to harvest them is by hand and recreationally. So it's kind of a cool thing. Kids love to do it. It's during the heat of the summer, so you can go out and get in the water and, and check out everything, see the stone crabs, uh, get the scallops, see all, all the sea life that normally you don't see while you're sitting on top of the boat fishing. Is it hard to do, William? Do you need to be a certified diver, or how does that work? Not at all. The only thing you need to be able to do is snorkel. And I've even had some folks out there that don't even snorkel. <laughs> they wait around and pick them up on a low tide. Uh, generally, the water is anywhere from waist to chest deep, and uh, you just snorkel around. And some people say, well, what about, I don't need fins since it's that calm, but I always recommend using fins because you can cover more ground. And plus, you know, you can hover over the water. If you do walk around or kick a lot, then you will stir up the water and you'll sit, you know, make the water silty. So it's just better just use the fins. And I like to kind of ease around. There's a nice green turtle right there. Ease around so you start seeing a few in the water. And usually the shorter grass or the meadows are where I find the most. If I can see three or four in a row from above the surface, that means we're in a pretty good area that hasn't been picked over and you've you got a good chance of you know getting your limit right right there around the boat without having to move. Want to make sure when you jump overboard, you got your dive bag with you, your catch bag. You go along, you find the scalps, pick them up, put them in there, then close it. If you don't close it, they will swim right out. We, we got a nice bucket here of scallops. What's the limit on them? Um, the scallop limit is two gallons per person or 10 gallons per vessel, whichever is least. Right here, that's your limit. You got your two gallons. This is a two gallon bucket. So, you know, the next thing is to clean them. How do you do it? Well, easiest way, there's a bunch of different methods, but I prefer to use a spoon mm -hmm. and you start with the dark side up mm -hmm. and there is a bottom side which is white and with the spoon which mine's been modified i flattened it with a hammer and kind of sh sharpened it just a little on the edge and go right in here in the hinge and you want to keep it near the top of the shell if you notice the curvature of the spoon and the mm -hmm. shell's the same and you'll cut the top muscle so the scallops connected there and there, and you've gone in and just scraped just got the, top the top. Shell. Yeah, right yep. off the top. 
and and there's this is a row of eyes and then this is all the scallop guts mm -hmm. but you can slightly scrape the eyes loose and then right by the hinge you just kind of want to slightly pull till you'll see this membrane actually coming off of the sh of the muscle mm -hmm. right there and once you get it going this with the spoon and your thumb just slightly kind of pull and get rid of the guts and that leaves your scallop. And you just scrape it out. There it is. That's easy enough. Yep. And repeat process. <laughs> A couple hundred times. Yes. Well, let's clean some. All right. Hey, you ate that. I know. I'm going to have to get back in and get another one yeah, now. you are. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple orange ones I know I got. Doesn't take a whole lot, William, to do this, does it? Sure doesn't. You know, basically, mass snorkel fins, um, a saltwater fishing license, and uh, you also need a dive flag, uh, mesh bag, a uh, couple spoons to clean them, and that's about it. Yeah, and uh, food, drink, and whatever, and go have at it. Be sure to keep up with the latest news, pics, reports, and videos on all your favorite social networks.